What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. So, today, we are going to be summoning on the new Pirate Queen, Tagaka? I think I said her name right? Um, I've been wanting to do the summon video for a while, but as you guys may know, for anyone who is in the Discord server, if you're not, link's in the description, you should join it. It's really cool people in there, very knowledgeable. Um, yeah, I had an issue with purchasing stones, and yeah, I just now got them. So, now we can finally do some summons on this banner. So, let's see. Looking at the banner, we got... I don't know why they have a 4-star featured in it, but, uh... That, that's something, I guess. They have this new relic, which, let's see, 35% chance to inflict water element on each enemy for 2 turns. When the caster uses an attack, the damage all enemies at once. Okay. I don't know what she does, so I guess there's a reason for that, because that relic does seem kind of weird. Um, Alright, we're just going to go in. Hopefully I don't have to go till Pity, because to be honest with you, I don't really care about her that much. And watch, just because I said that, it's going to take me to Pity to pull her. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. But, I mean, I mean, because I figured like it's only 120. Pity, it's not that bad compared to most banners I've done so far. So, you know, I was like, let me, let me just do it. Okay, so we got the, we got the, the pirate guy. That's cool, that's cool. Um... Uh, you know me, I only sk I only skipped the four star summons because let's be real, no one cares about those. I got another power guy. Oh, there you go, it's a Vanyan seed. It's cool. Um, d dude, <laughs> if I could get one of her relic and one of her, then I'm good. I'm out because I don't really care about her. Uh, okay, this is wow. If I don't pull at least one of her relic, I'm gonna be very annoyed. And look, after this, since I'm sure this will be a kind of short video, because again, the, the pity is pretty low, I'm just going to look at her skills real quick, give a quick little analysis of her. Um, I mean, I we've had talk about her, or I had someone kind of break down. Am I really almost at pity already, and I haven't pulled a single 5-star? Dude. D you see, people, alright, let me just make this clear. People say, like, oh, like, you know, you're a whale, like, you spent, like, alright. The reason why I spend so much is because I have to. It's not because I want to. Because, let's be real, no one wants to spend. Okay? But when you see summons like this, where I'm 90 summons in without a single 5-star, like, you start to understand why I spend the amount of money that I do. Because I don't have a choice, because otherwise I'm not going to pull anything. We're literally 30 summons away from the pity. And I'm just now getting my first 5-star. Like, what is this? I've had to skip every summon we've done so far. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, But yeah, I had some... Okay, at least it's a relic, so... I mean... Again, I had to go to pity. You can't even, couldn't even toss me a bone, huh, game? Um... Yeah, I had some discussion with her, with someone in, in the Discord server, and I misunderstood one of her skills. Or at least what, um, one of her, like, um, like, the kind of damage that she deals, I just had a misunderstanding on it, so, you know, I maybe was too quick to judge, and now that I actually have her, I can, like, test her out. But, um, oop, that was my bad, I forgot to turn those off. Alright, so there you go, she, there she is at Pity. Did I get a second copy of her? I did not. Wow. That was definitely the worst summoning I've had so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I made sure to clear relic space out beforehand so we wouldn't sit here doing going through all that. So let me just let's just go into her skills real quick. We'll look at what she does, and then hopefully sometime this week I can get a quick little uh, showcase going on for her. Um, she most likely won't be mastery four, but you know. Uh, so let's see. So let's look at her skills. So her basic is called Glacial Waves. So it deals splash damage to all enemies. Attack ignores damage reduction effects. Gain a random defensive buff for each pirate faction ally on the caster's team. So splash damage inflict water element on random enemy. If the caster attacks, is inflicted with the water element. Okay. So this is what I didn't understand. Where it says attack ignores damage reduction effects. I thought that just meant like any additional like defense or any additional damage reductions like you know skills but apparently it's supposed to mean or like what it actually does is that it ignores defense so then this basically makes her a counter 
to like Jin Fu, um, you know, Kyoshi, Ryder Zuko, like a lot of them, basically the meta units in uh, Arena right now. So because of that, that actually does make her a little bit better than I thought. Um, as far as how much damage she actually does, I don't know. I, have to, you know. I haven't used her yet, but hopefully this means that she'll be pretty good for that. Uh, so let's see. Uh, her advanced skill here, Marquise or Marques of the Sea, uh, deals three hits of fierce damage to all enemies, 35% chance to increase rank of water element effects by one hit, or by one each hit. Okay. Gain a random offensive buff for each rebel faction and ally on the caster's team for two turns, and then fierce damage again. It ignores all damage reduction effects on the target. Um, and then skill ups, you see it gives um, extra damage and then a 3% effect chance. So let's see, that's what, 15% extra? So put it boost up to 50%, that's pretty good. Um, and then, all right, so then her advance. Grants a skill nullifier to all allies when any enemy is inflicted with a rank 3 water element. Huh? And that's all it does. So... So her passive doesn't do anything unless a tier 3 water... Okay, so now her relic makes more sense. That's not... So you definitely want a lot of accuracy on her. She's probably one of the only offense units where you actually want a decent bit of accuracy. Because then otherwise it just makes her passive completely useless. Um, and then what is her... Where can I... Okay, there you go. Mastery. Uh, so mastery level 2. Heal each ally based on your attack stat. Heal pirate and rebel faction allies an additional amount. Okay. Grant increased attack or defense to all pirate and rebel faction allies, not including the caster, for one turn. That's a little ambiguous. I don't know if that means, like, only units who fall under both of those factions, or just either or. Hmm. I guess that just requires some... Like, if I use her, I guess I'll, I'll find out once I get Mastery Level 3, of course. And then Mastery Level 4 deal 50% increased damage to targets that are frozen. But she... Wait, but she herself doesn't freeze anyone. Does um the other guy freeze? Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? This guy. Does he freeze anyone? Water bin. Da da da. Da da. No. So he doesn't freeze anyone. Does his mastery give him the ability to freeze? So who would be freezing? I don't know. Whatever. But all right. I mean, she looks. Decently okay. I'm gonna test her out. See how how that goes. I mean, I don't know. She just seems like like yes, she's supposed to counter the the meta units, but like at the same time, like I don't know. They feel like I feel like they could have just done a little bit more with her. Like why do they only have to tailor her to such like obscure a set of units? Like I mean, like how let, 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 let's be real. How many people are actually using like? this guy or I mean this guy is actually not bad you know but like I don't know again I'll build her we'll see what happens and we'll, we'll go from there but anyways guys I hope you have enjoyed that was a very depressing summoning video for to say the least but um again if you've enjoyed like comment subscribe uh, leave any comments for anything you might want to see and uh yeah I'm signing out here guys see you later